Hey everyone, welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. So one of my subscribers asked me if I can kind of explain why you pick Node.js over some of these other frameworks or libraries such as Go or Rust or C Sharp or Java for building your backend APIs. And honestly, these type of questions kind of always boil down to just personal preference and then also depending on your team dynamics, right? So yeah, I'm just kind of giving you my opinions. But before I jump into that, be sure to click that like button because it helps my channel grow. And also be sure to click the subscribe and bell icon if you want to see more videos like this in the future that should hopefully help you become a better web developer or software engineer. So Node.js, why do I personally enjoy using Node.js and why would I pick it for a backend web server? The main reason I like using Node is because it uses JavaScript, right? And maybe that's a shallow reason or maybe that's a silly reason, but honestly, when you're a full stack engineer, it's really easy to just focus on one language, right? Every language has a bunch of small little nuances where if you have to jump between languages just to be able to implement a kind of a feature for a user, it can make things really hard. So I like to make sure that both the front end and the back end are written with the same language, right? So if you decide that you are a you know, static type type of person, I would probably stick with TypeScript on the front end and TypeScript on the back end. If you enjoy dynamic languages like myself, I just like doing JavaScript on the front end and JavaScript with Node.js on the back end. Again, the argument really all boils down to personal preference and the lack of context switching for me, right? I find it really easy to be able to work on the front end and just add you know, an API request that goes to a back end, and then I can load up my VS Code editor to the back end, which is written in the exact same language. It still uses NPM. It still uses the same package JSON stuff. It uses a majority of the same libraries. Like you can still use Axios on the back end, and you can also use it on the front end. But there's a lot of code sharing that happens between the front end and the back end if you stick to Node.js with the back end. And you can imagine the alternative if you're doing the front end in JavaScript and the back end in Go or Rust, there is a huge context switch that happens, right? If you wanted to add a feature where a user can basically add a to do list item, the front end would be written in JavaScript, HTML, CSS, but then you're making that request to a back end that's in Go. Go has a completely different package manager. It has a completely different way that you run things. It has a different way that you package and deploy these things, right? So I personally don't like context switching. If I can stick to one language, I will do it at all costs. So that's the main reason. A second reason is the ecosystem is pretty big. There's a lot of third-party libraries out there for Node and JavaScript, and a lot of them are kind of interchangeable. For example, you can use like Joy Validation on the front end and also Joy Validation on the back end. So if you have a back end API that's validating some request, you can actually take that chunk of code and use it on the front end to do the same validation, which is really, really great. So code sharing is a great thing that you can do between these two things if you want to. Another thing that you need to kind of consider is the team. If you're working on a team with other developers, you need to make sure that you actually have the ability to hire for other developers with the same skill set, right? It seems pretty easy to pick up a new language, but honestly, it takes years to kind of perfect a language and kind of understand all the ins and outs of it, right? You can hire someone to start doing some Go development and they can kind of get up to speed in a month or two, but for them to be actually truly proficient and master that language, it takes a lot longer. So again, it, it's all about like, if you're kind of like a hiring manager or if you're like more of your tech lead, you want to be able to use a technology that's really easy to find people to hire for. And some languages aren't as popular as others. So for example, if you're building your backend in Rust, I don't know if there's a lot of companies that do that versus people who build backends in Java or Node.js. I know a lot of enterprise companies use Java for their backend, and then Microsoft people like to use C Sharp for their backend or ASP.NET. So that's not really a technical reason why, it's more of like a, a people management reason why you'd pick Node.js. And again, it's just easier to have like a front end developer easily be able to add features to the back end and just hire people for them. So a third reason I want to talk about is kind of siloing. So I think what happens if you have a team where your back end is written in one language like Go or Java, and then your front end is written with the normal you know tech stack of JavaScript, HTML, CSS, you end up getting like these the split of like, oh, I'm a back end engineer. I just deal with the Java side of things. And then you have these other groups of people who say, I'm the front end engineers, I just deal with the front end stuff. And you end up having like this division between your company or your project where these people just kind of like meet in the middle and collaborate. Whereas you could probably be more productive if this person just went to the back end and changed code. Like as long as your team can trust each other that they can actually contribute to each other's projects, there's no reason to have like dedicated, I'm a back end engineer, I'm only a front end engineer. Because that extra barrier of communication that happens in between that kind of a strange split when you have different languages on your back end is kind of unnecessary. Now, again, like 
anyone can kind of contribute to the back end. They just, need, they just need to kind of invest more time learning Go, but it's probably harder for them to kind of get up to speed with learning a new language if you have the two APIs and the front end kind of using different languages. And like I said, these are all just my personal preferences. These might not be 100% accurate. There might be kind of a lot of stuff you can shoot down about my arguments, but these are the things that I kind of would see a good argument for keeping your languages the same. Now, the last main argument that I can think of is performance, okay? So Node.js is pretty good with handling a lot of requests and doing a lot of file IOs. Compare that to Go though in Rust, like Go and Rust blow Node.js out of the water. So if you need to have a really performant API that can handle a lot of requests at once, you probably want to go down that path of looking into learning Go or looking into learning Rust for developing your API. So why is that important? Well, if your server can handle more requests, like let's say Go can handle 40% more requests than Node, that means that you can use a lot less servers to um, kind of handle your traffic, right? So it comes down to cost savings. If your servers are more powerful or your, if your language that you're using is more performant, that means that the hardware that you need to run them is lesser, means that you save a lot of money. But honestly, in this day and age, like horizontally, horizontally scaling your servers is really easy. You literally just go and click a button and now you have 10 node servers that are all behind a load balancer. And it's not really a strong argument. I could see why some people might choose it over Node.js. But in all honesty, if you're just learning or building a side project or you're a small scale company, but I really can't see a strong argument for why you need that extra performance, especially since it's so easy in this day and age just to scale your API horizontally just with a click of a button. Um, but there's probably a lot more arguments. Um, Go is probably a better language because it has better type checking. It has better error handling versus Node can be a, uh, a dumpster fire at some, some points, and JavaScript can be a dumpster fire too. So that's another reason why you might wanna use a more strongly typed language like Java, C Sharp, or Go for your backend, just cause it gives you that extra error handling to let developers know that they're doing something wrong or they're passing data incorrectly. And you could still do the same thing with TypeScript. So I don't know if that argument really holds true, but I personally don't really like TypeScript. So I'd rather use Java or some other really strong type language so that I don't have to deal with like these optional TypeScript settings. So at this point, I'm just rambling, but honestly, my final opinion is just use whatever languages you want to. But yeah, those are really the only arguments I can kind of think off the top of my head. I don't know how the ecosystem is with some other languages. Like I remember working with Java, it was really hard to pull in third-party libraries and actually like achieve some stuff. Whereas Node, you can actually like spin up a fully functional REST API in like five minutes using Expressed. Can you still do the same thing with Go or Rust? I don't know. I haven't really spent the time investigating. I'm assuming that there are libraries and frameworks out there that kind of do all that for you. Um, and it's really easy to get going, but all in all, it just comes down to personal preference. Or if you really, really, really need that extra performance, then that's when I probably say you don't want to use Node and you want to use something like Go or Rust or whatever else is out there that happens to be able to handle more requests and do more processing with less resources. Well, so if you enjoy watching this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, be sure to click the subscribe and bell icon if you want to see videos like this in the future where I kind of just give my random opinions and thoughts on topics. And like always, leave a comment below if you have a, a favorite, you know, backend language you like using. Do you like using Node.js or do you rather use something like Java or C Sharp or Node or Go or Rust? Let me know. I'm interested in hearing your opinions. Like always, have a good day and happy coding.